Well, hi guys and girls, Emma again. Welcome back to the spare room and to the first serious update on the tool making competition. We've got 53 days left to enter. Uh, entry closes on the 15th of June. That's 53 days away. It doesn't sound like long, and it really isn't. If you if you're going to make an entry, get in and, and make some progress on it because seriously, there's a pretty tough field so far and you're going to need a good video and you're going to need a nice tool but there's also some awesome prizes and there's some awesome things that come out of entering this competition i think so it's up to you guys but um, we need more than two entries and that's what we've got so far 53 days uh, we know what the prizes are but there are some updates First is the GoPro Hero 7 white. I've got this here. It's a brand new GoPro. It hasn't been opened. Uh, that's going with me to America and I'll ship it off. That's prize for the for one of the categories. We've divided this up into two categories because it's almost impossible to judge all in one category. First category, um, videography or cinematography or script writing or whatever you want to call it if you've got a good storyline and a good video and good fun and we enjoy it then you've got a pretty good chance at, at GoPro the other category is basically the finished product what, what's your tool look like what, what have you made um, how much past your school le skill level is this how, how good does it look how well does it work and how well does it capture our imagination? How much does it make us drool? That sort of stuff. And there's two prizes for that. First is a set of R. Stephen Lang precision ground flat stones, which are pretty amazing, actually. I've got a set, a well-loved set here, actually. Um, I need to run through the ultrasonic, probably. But my set are just in cardboard boxes. Um, Precision ground flat stones. I believe they're probably Norton. Um, these are these are well loved, and they need a bit of a clean at the moment. And they'll probably get it. they've had a fair bit of use but the set that Stephen has got for the competition I believe are probably going to be in a nice wooden box and pretty nice these are these are fairly valuable thing to have and they cost a few dollars to go and get someone to make them so and a bit of time too and know-how if you even if you've got a surface grinder and a couple of stones they're, there's a bit of messing around in them so always good to have an, another set or a second set or a set you think is dirty so that's going to be one prize not this set here but a match set probably in a nice wooden box um, more details closer to the time but that's a, that's one prize the other prize has been donated by a mysterious viewer i um, not going to mention names because he did ask me not to, but it's a Michitoyo uh, optical comparator set, so optical loop and a set of scales to go in it and an illuminator. Uh, I'll put the part numbers up, you can go and have a look at them if you want, but that's a pretty nice prize too, that really is, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing and, and thank you to our mystery donor for that. I really, really appreciate that. It's a it's a great thing that you do. So we'll be able to give out two prizes for for tool making or or for what the, the final the final tool, which is which is really nice. And that's at our discretion. So so that's where the 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 prize pulls up to, and that's what we're going with. So there's no real rules. And we've had a couple of competition entries so far. There's one from Rust Knox. Uh, go and check out his video. He's made a, a basically a, an oil container for, for cutting oil on the lathe. That's a really pretty awesome video, actually. 
it's it's interesting it's good it's good fun it's it's something that you can sit down and watch and then watch again because you miss some details and it starts off with a box full of bits that really no one could ever imagine could be anything and he ends up with something that's really really nice so go and check out his video another one from Tommy Gun Machining this week so he's made a mill stop and that's a really really good video it's good fun um, excellent watching and really nice tool at the end too so that's how those first two entries that's what we've got so far and 53 days left but those first two entries, they sort of set the bar a little bit. So go and have a look. If you're going to enter, pretty keen to see what you've got. Even if, you're, if you've got no hopes of winning or you think you've got no hopes of winning, enter anyway because at the moment there's two entries and there's 53 days left. So there's a pretty good chance that um, at this stage that you might actually be onto something. So that's... That's the competition update. Now, I promised a few people an update on this thread cutting attachment for the launch. I've got this box of bits here, which I've been going through this weekend and just... Um, few people have asked about this and I, I wanted to, to do a bit of an update. So this is, I guess, second part of the video. This is a LS & Co spanner, a Lorch Schmidt & Co. Um, a genuine spanner for a Lorch lathe. It fits most of the bolts on the Lorch. I believe it's probably Whitworth, being Germany, 1920s. No idea. But... I've made these nuts to fit that. So if anyone was wondering about that, you probably posted a picture of it on Instagram. But that's what size I've made the nuts. Anyway, these go on the on the banjo or on the the arm for the gear train. And there's a few bits inside. These are Pretty hard 4140. So I've made a couple of dots like that. And a bolt that looks like this with slots on it to stop it turning in the back of the slot. So you only need one spanner to tighten it up. And a body that goes through the rest of the slot. That's got a bit of a gap, so that should clamp down on 10 mil plate pretty nicely. This has got a surface that this bush runs on, or the bronze bush. And that'll accept two gears, so we can put this together. It all fits together pretty nice. And a spacer and another gear, or there's a wide spacer if you only want to put one gear on. You can put the wide spacer on and then tighten that up. So there's two sets of those and they spin there nicely. This gear goes on the spindle. I made these which are basically a gear with a with a recess and a bronze bush and then they've got a hardened screw and a washer and this too will fit in a in an adjustable slot so that we can get the backlash sorted in the gears so it's not too noisy so they're the tumblers there's two of those And they go on a rocking arm. And then there's another gear the same size down here. So what we've got is these two mesh together. And it either 
this whole assembly will, will, will rock between that one and that one, which gives us another reduction and that gives us a reverse. So that's what I'm working on at the moment. There's a bit of work in that. I've got the, the universal slide. I had a 3D printed piece in here. Um, not really up to scratch. I should have listened to Robin Renzetti, but, um, and I probably will next time, but I'll make something that's a bit better in there, and it's probably going to be, to be honest, a brass bush. Or I'll, I'll print something and, or design something and get it properly printed in brass. So at this point, that's the universal that goes between the carriage and the and the compound it's got a and over here on the lathe we've got the rest of the dog clutch here now this is how this works is that I've got a pin, cross pin, on the end of the, the lead screw and this has got a slot in it and it goes in and then it's tapped in the end and it's got a screw that screws in and holds that in place. I intend to make a either a bronze or a steel bush to go in there with the screw as well so that we can block that off and this isn't sticking out in the way because it touches the chuck when you turn in large diameters, things like that. But this has got two grooves in it and I apologize for the state of my lathe, but, but when that's engaged, that'll drive that. And then there's another groove there that the, that the, the ball detent works on and that's disengaged. So this stays stationary and the, the compound moves. So this drives back to the, the change wheels on the back of the lathe and there will be some sort of a plunger arrangement so that when this gets to can be adjusted so that when you get to the end of the cut this will kick that out and and disengage it and stop it so that's sort of where it needs to be. Not so much for screw cutting, but for power feed, that's, that's probably a fairly useful thing to have. So there's a bit of work in it, and that's what I've been doing in my spare time, such as it is. This lathe is filthy because I've been working pretty hard on, on getting those two little studs for the banjo gears all sorted out. So job this afternoon is to clean this lathe. But that's sort of where we're at with it. So I thought I'd bung that little update in there. Just to um, give those that have been asking questions about this to a bit of a, a chance to get some sort of grasp on how it all works. I've got a set of change wheels and it's not complete by any means because I've used a lot of them in the in the, um, the tumbler system, the 240 tooth wheels there. So I'm gonna have to get some more bits for that. There's a micrometer head there, maybe that'll work on the depth stop for the for the dropout on the on the power feed. I'm not sure about that yet. We'll make up some. Anyway, that's what's happening in the shop. Go check out those two videos in the competition. Um, have a think about entering. I'd really appreciate it if you would. There's some pretty cool things going on. All you guys who make woodwork tools, and I know there's a lot of you out there, have a think about entering this competition. We'd love to see what you make. And if you've thought about making a video, or some of you I know make good videos, get in and have a go because you do wonderful work. And we've picked these prizes um, in particular to be useful to, to all facets of, of tool making or people who make tools. So if you're interested, go and have a bit of a look. The stones are great for taking burrs off things. Um, the comparator with the 
the graduated angle scales and everything is going to be fantastic for sharpening if you want to look at it from your perspective um, a GoPro everyone needs so have a think about it if you're making 3D printed tools if you're making machine tools if you're making woodworking tools if you're making blacksmithing tools if you're making cooking utensils even they all sort of fit in there so if you're interested certainly get your entry in 53 days can't stress that enough summer bash is coming up it's about 59 days away it's another week after that the 22nd just on two months i've got to be in america everything's going towards being there um, this competition is announced at Summer Bash 2019 when hell freezes over. So check out Stan Sinkowski's channel for, for details about that if you're interested or if you're in California in the late, in the sort of the first week of summer. The other thing that's happening for, for Summer Bash is a little black book. There's a there's a version of the Little Black Book, which is an engineer's black book, um, which is pretty useful. V belts, sign bars, bandsaw blades, drill sharpening, taps, thread forms, drill sizes, de decimal equivalents. Um, physical dimensions, G-code addresses, engineering drawing standards, tungsten carbide tool holders and, and, and tungsten carbide insert charts. It's all there. Now, there's a version that's a little bit bigger um, for older people and for people who lose this in the piles of junk and clutter on their workbench and it has the artwork for the the 2019 summer bash um the snow globe with when hell freezes over it on the cover now that's a limited edition there's 250 of them number one has been auctioned as we speak um take a look at that i will put a link in the description about that but you have an opportunity to buy one of these um, autographed by your favourite creator. So if you want a Mr. Pete one or a Tom Lipton one or a, a um, Justin from Good of the Land one, go and go and buy one. It's pretty reasonable price. Um, the company ships internationally and their shipping's pretty good. So if you're if you're interested, go and make sure to see if there's one left and um, and buy one. But be quick on that because oh, that's something that's going to be over fairly quickly. So just a shout out on that. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Check out my Patreon. Uh, new video going up on there very, very short soon. Have a look at some of my other videos. This is the first one you've had a look at. And... Be kind to each other.